Hey guys, Sublar here, back again with another review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series Walmart exclusive Lizard. Now before we get into it here, let's first take a look see at both the front and the back of the packaging. So without further ado to you, let's get into it. Now before we get into the meat and taters of this review, I would first of all like to say that this review right here is brought to you in part by my good buddy, Evil Villain. Click the link in the description below and check out his Instagram. Head on over there, give him a follow, let him know, Overlord sent ya. But with all that being said, the lizard does come with two interchangeable hands. One fisticuff to punch you right in the kisser and one kung fu grip hand. Or is it a, dare I say it, turn your head and cough hand. Oh yeah. No, it's not. He's got that on him already. Ho ho, somebody came prepared. On top of that though, he comes with two, count them, two flasks, not beakers. And it should be worth noting that they do have little pinholes in the top. So you can put some of the little smoke or uh, bullet blast effects in the top there. Make it look like he is concocting some formula, probably to turn him into a lizard. Oh wait, he already did that. But it should be worth noting, too, that he can't hold both of these at the same time, which kind of sucks, because that's kind of what I wanted to do. But this hand is uh, much too wide to hold this. And, uh, well, he only comes with one grip hand, so kind of a bummer, but... It is what it is. They're different colors at least. And then on top of all that, he comes with an extra head portrait. Looking a lot more like my version of the lizard. From the 90s animated series. Which is more than likely what I'm going to use with mine. Because while I love the Steve Ditko head sculpt he's got rocking here. I much prefer this. This is awesome. Tongue flailing out and everything. He does not have... The Gene Simmons tongue that Venom had yesterday, but hey, not everyone can have a Venom tongue, right? If they did, then Venom wouldn't be a special. So, taking a closer look at the lizard here. Again, we have that very Ditko-esque, kind of Gecko-esque head. And I'm going to just say it, this is a very first appearance inspired lizard, right down to the rounded off fingertips and toes. Um, he's got very gecko-esque hands and feet. And of course, the head. Which uh, actually gets a ton of range. Like, he's got a disc in there. So you can look up all the way. He's got some play on that ball as well. But uh, you can hinge this down. Get it that far. He's got some uh, tilt side to side. He can look side to side. But uh, he's got like a ball in the base of the neck there that works pretty well. I don't know if it's a double ball peg or what, but um, you do get some rotation and you do get some tilt and you do get some up and down. Uh, that said, the shoulders on this guy, wicked tight. Go out about that far. It'd probably go out a little more, but I don't want to push it. Um, I probably need to loosen this up with either heat either eater it's eater heat or some lubricant um but uh yeah i would advise uh messing with those a little bit so you don't break them um that said let's get full 360 rotation there it's got a bicep swivel and much like agony from the uh, venom 3 pack i'm gonna be talking about that set a lot because uh, i want you to watch the review because i feel like i'm one of the first people to uh take a look at that over here in the states which is not a common thing uh, that said i did have to lubricate this bicep here it was super sticky and eh, i appreciate hasbro trying to give us like detented tighter joints but with this gummy plastic that's no bueno it's not uh, strong enough to withstand that kind of strength over time you know that said he's got a double elbow that gives him pretty good range it's got a shredded sleeve there. No, like, wrist rotation there. You just get it at the hand. And it does um, hinge in and out. And I would like to mention the grip hand has the incorrect hinge. 
moves in and out as well instead of up and down which is whatever i don't know if i'll display mine with that anyways but uh, something to note uh, that said this hand is perfectly sculpted to cup your balls if you're into that emphasis on the turn your head and cough hand okay i did it once i'm not gonna do it again uh, that said he does have a diaphragm joint it's a double ball peg it rotates and stuff it's a little bit better than the retro spider-man because it doesn't break up the costume or even the null and venom two-pack venom because uh well it doesn't break anything up but it is kind of floppy and uh, i just kind of keep it there it stays in place uh, the jacket kind of keeps it from flopping like crazy so i guess that's a plus he does have an ab crunch and this thing is super tight i can get it to crunch here uh, you can bend him that far forward yeah that far forward you can straighten him out you can attempt to straighten him out and you can go back too but the coat's gonna get in the way he does have a swivel at the tail and the tail just plugs into his butt there uh, there's a straight peg sticking out of the butt you don't have to heat this or anything it actually goes on quite well and there's also a bendy wire in this tail that works quite well uh, granted you only really get movement towards the middle of it but hey it's better than the build-a-figure tail but I will tell you I have a I want to say Spyro the Dragon figure from NECA Toys that has a tail that consists of double ball peg joints it looks pretty clean and you get a ton of range out of it I would like to see them uh, experiment with that with the lizard because he does have these big segments here I think they could pull that off if uh, they put their heart into it but uh, let's face it uh, Hasbro don't do that all the time do they hey -o. um that said this lizard figure is 100% brand new and pinless um but he can kick forward he can kick back not much you can kick out to the side the coat is soft enough to where it will get out of the way he's got a thigh cut there he's got a double knee it's also pinless works pretty well there you go crunches up pretty far and he has a calf rotation that's nicely hidden by the pant leg and i actually heated mine up and popped him out and loosened him up a bit because again they had that detented swivel which is nice in theory but these pegs they're gummy so that's not uh gonna fare well over time that and this side on mine was super tight but now as you can see i could spin it all the way around there's no squeak in there and it's not loose or anything it's tight enough uh, this side is a little bit tighter but I, I took the D10 out and I didn't actually have to put any lubricant in there this I heat blasted and put lubricant in there uh, that said he does have a hinge in the ankle with a rocker joint which I also heated up a little bit it's not as bad as the um, carnage that has kind of the detented ankles but it was tight enough to where I felt the need to uh, you know, work on it a little bit but he does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet for the stand he really doesn't need though i will say my lizard has taken a tumble a time or two not because of the calf but just because of the way he is uh, you gotta find the balance but once you do he stands right up just fine and uh he looks awesome man i'm uh, really stoked to have this figure sucks that it's a walmart exclusive so uh you know good luck getting a hold of it now I'm still waiting for that Asbat to come back in stock, but, um, you know, it is what it is. And that animated Spider-Man, since we're talking about Spider-Man stuff. But, uh, yeah, that is the retro-cotted lizard. Another fine addition to the Spider-Man retro series. We've been getting a lot of solid releases from this series over the past year. Uh, a lot of stinkers, too. I heard that Spider-Man 2099 was, uh, well, no good and broke instantly. I don't know enough about Webman to say whether or not that's a decent figure, but it looks okay. Um, trying to think uh, of the retro carded figures, though. This one, Shocker, um, Hammerhead, we took a look at earlier this week, as well as the, da, 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 the animated Spider-Man seem to be the standouts for me personally. Uh, the symbiote slash black costume Spider-Man and Ben Ryler are pretty cool too, but. Um, you know how I feel about the retro Spider-Man at this point. If you watched Flashback Fridays last week. But uh, of the bunch, I think Lizard is probably the strongest right now. Uh, the Rhino was pretty solid too. I think it was a, a nice update to say the least. But 
With that being said, that's enough rambling. Uh, let us now move on and take a look at some size comparisons. First up, here is the new Retro Series Lizard alongside our temporary regular four size comparisons for Spider-Man Week here on this channel. Good old Retro Spider-Man, and as you can see, Spider-Man and the Lizard are about neck and neck as far as size goes. And while I know that at least this incarnation of the Lizard isn't supposed to be larger than life, like some people, he should at least be taller than Spider-Man, right? It is what it is, I suppose. That said, we also have the Build-A-Figure Lizard from, I believe, 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Side note, if you watched my Venom 3-pack review yesterday, where Lasher made a guest appearance, he came with the head to that figure, so it all comes together at some point in time, right? That said, this version of the Lizard is much more monstrous in size and scales much better with the Retro Spider-Man, in my opinion anyways. Yours may differ, and that's just fine, but again, I do prefer my Lizard to be taller than Spider-Man. I prefer all my Spider-Man villains to be taller than Spider-Man. What can I say? And last, but certainly not least, we have our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus, okay, love it spawn as usual, towers over everyone. So with that being said, time to wrap things up, some final thoughts. Overall, and while this isn't my mind's eye view of Dr. Kirk Connors as the Lizard, it's pretty darn close. Shy of having clawed hands and feet, and potentially a little bit more height on him, this is as close to my mind's eye view of the lizard we're probably going to get for a while from the fine folks over at hasbro and don't get it twisted i do still like the hunk of chunk of burn and build a figure we got way back in 2018 but that one is a little bit unstable and do i even need to mention the dinosaur head and poorly engineered tail he's got going for him yeesh but with that being said, I do believe that this lizard right here is a fine addition to any Spider-Man's rogues gallery display for anyone and clocks in at about a $30 price point, if you can find him, that is, because again, he is a Walmart exclusive. Dare I say, ugh. So, with that being said, I'm going to wish you all the best of luck trying to track this guy down because he is... Starting to get a little sought after already, even though he's only been out for, what, a month? Yeah, that's just the name of the game nowadays, unfortunately. But, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you were so inclined, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know whenever I upload more reviews like this one. And stay tuned because we're going to be wrapping up Spider-Man Week here on this channel tomorrow with a review of what is, in my opinion, the best Spider-Man figure we've got from the fine folks over at Hasbro in the Marvel Legends line in its entirety. Spoiler alert, it's not the Renew Your Vows 2-pack version. But, if you haven't already, please hit me up on Instagram at Overlord Productions. But as always, keep the comments civil. This world sucks enough as it is, especially when gummy plastic, man, is a pain in the nuts. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.